Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Find Me in a Book podcast. I'm your host, Tav, and it's going to be a little bit different today, so we're not going to go over just one book. I feel like that there has been quite a lot of books happening and a lot of episodes happening where I just wanted to sit down and just, you know, talk about all of these and books that I probably won't do a podcast on and do some little like book news, little update on my TBR, just like, just a whole update. You know what I'm saying? Just, and the last thing that I will say, like at the end of this podcast, so, you know, stay tuned. I just read a book that completely depressed me. <laughs> like one that I cannot recommend to people because it it affected me so much. Uh, so stay tuned for that because it was a doozy. And it's one that you've heard around book talk a lot, like on TikTok and Instagram. It's kind of like gone around a little bit. So it was definitely a surprise for me. I didn't look into the back like pages or the summary. Uh, I usually don't look at the trigger warnings because I just... I'm not triggered by very much, I guess you could say. But anyways, I will kind of give you that little teaser and then uh, I will kind of go over it at the very end. So welcome to my little podcast. If you're new here, I'm excited that you're here. Usually every week I pick a book that I have read and kind of do like a synopsis summary review. And then at, towards like the end half or the the back half I guess you could say is when I go through the book so if you are someone that doesn't have a lot of time to really read the book or spend a lot of time on a book then this is definitely the podcast for you because I I usually do go over most of the book I leave a little like okay so I'm not gonna say I don't do spoilers like it pretty much is spoilers but if there's like some really big twists that are gonna, that happen and some really big like type turns, I don't even say them then either because I want you to be surprised. I want you to go and read those books. Uh, I definitely recommend that you read the books, but I understand you're busy and you might not have the time to really like sit down and read all of these books or you've heard a lot of people talk about certain books and you're like, oh, I just... I don't really like reading like or maybe that's just the book not for me I don't really like fantasy um, and so this is the perfect podcast for you I'm kind of selling myself in this uh, because you know I talk about it and I might not go into all of the details but enough that you could go to someone and say like oh my gosh I heard about that book like I heard these things and you can have a conversation with someone and then they can elaborate more and they can be like hey are you actually gonna read it and they'll be like no and so then they can be like well this happens and then this happens and so it kind of is a conversation starter where you know a little bit about the book because you've listened to it on this podcast and then you can go to people in like book clubs or at the bookstore just any conversation and be like actually I know a little bit about it and then it sparks something and then there are the big books that I completely understand if you're like oh my gosh no I really want to read that I am going to start doing more of like spoiler alerts because you never know when someone new like comes in on the podcast they don't know what I really do and so I'm going to start like verbalizing that more and say like okay here's the cutoff if you want to read this book there are going to be spoilers ahead and so then it will give people kind of that marker to be like okay I really do want to read this I'm not going to listen further and kind of give you the choice there because for most of it I haven't really given you a choice I mean if you've if you've listened to previous episodes you kind of know what the format is um, but I, I definitely want it want to be more verbal about it and, and give you a chance to go and read the book because maybe you didn't know about the book and so I want to go over it like a little bit at the beginning and kind of like my reviews and then from that point you can be like oh I do want to read it or no I don't have time to read it you get what I'm saying so I kind of want to start doing that a little bit more um, just to be you know to have everyone be able to listen to this little podcast and uh, kind of serve everyone there so I <laughs> throughout the week I write random notes in my notes app um, for like the next episode 
And sometimes I remember what I wrote down, like why I wrote it down. And a lot of times I don't. So the one thing that I had on here that I was like, why did I write this down? It was square dancing. And maybe I was just like, you know, reminiscing on my younger years. But in fifth grade, I don't know if anyone else had to do this and why we had to do this. But I am from a little town in Idaho. And in fifth grade, we learned how to square dance. And that was just what you did. And I don't know if my sister did it. Actually, my sister, we didn't live in that little town when she was in fifth grade, I don't think. Um, so I don't think she had to learn to square dance. And I don't know why that particular school, we did square dance. Other elementaries, I don't know if they square dance. But that particular one that I was at, we did learn that in fifth grade. And I was one of the tallest girls. I think I was like the third tallest. Uh, I was one of the tallest in my class, though. But it was like all the fifth grade classes did this together. And I think I was the third tallest because uh, I, I grew, I mean, during fifth and sixth grade, I was like the tallest girl. And that's like when my growth spurt was. And that's also when it ended. So I have been 5'3 since sixth grade. I didn't grow any more than that. I'm sure some people relate. And yeah, we learned all the do si -dos. We learned... Um, different formations we had like an assembly I think it was like that one of the nights we had an assembly so then your parents could come and watch you and then there was one that you could like bring a partner up from the crowd so I think I brought my dad up was it my dad I think it was I brought my dad up and square danced and yeah that's just <laughs> what we did I don't know why I wrote this down but I just wanted y'all to know that we square danced in Idaho. And I definitely want to know if you square danced in your elementary schools. Was that just a thing across? I'm pretty sure it wasn't across the U.S., but maybe it was because I have seen some memes about it. So let me know where you're from and if you did square dance because that is just, I want to know why we had to do that. Maybe I should look it up. Maybe Google has something. I don't know. I haven't tried looking it up. So anyways, want to get into, actually, do I want to do book news and updates first or yes, let's do some little book news and updates. So let's see, there is a book coming out um, by LJ Andrews and it's called The Songs of Sorrows and Fate. So it is part of the Broken Kingdoms. It's actually book nine, which I didn't realize that there were so many about this. I remember reading book one. It, I don't know when it was, maybe last year, but book one was Curse of Shadows and Thorns. So I remember that book. And now the book nine's coming out. So she, she uh, wrote really fast and just got them out there, which is so cool. Uh, and then we had one, oh, this one is interesting because, let's see, it's by Whitney G. And all her, it's only Whitney G. Like, we don't know her last name. Maybe we could find it out. Maybe it's right there, but I just see Whitney G. Anyway, she's coming out with a book on September 8th called I Wish I Would Have Told You. And it's interesting because I've read a different book like this that when I went to read the summary, at the very top, it says, do not read the blurb before. Don't read like reviews. Don't read the blurb. Don't read anything going into this book, which I think is so like, I have a hard time with that because I want to know endings of things before I even start. Like when we watch a new movie, I'm, I know I've said this on the podcast before, when we watch movies, I'm in IMDb. I'm like, what's the synopsis? Like, what what can I expect is happening? Because I I need to know what it what it is, you know. And I did read a different book. Who was it? Um, I can see the cover of the cover of the book, and I should have looked it up. And I know if you know that you I know that you know uh, if you have read it what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> that sounds so confusing. But there's another book out there like this that it's like, do not read the reviews, do not read the blurb, do not read anything going into this. Because yeah, there's a huge twist at the end. And so I'm really, really nervous, not really nervous, but excited to read this book because it just, it entices me. And I really like um, one of her books that I have read that I actually have been obsessed over it for years is called Two Weeks Notice. So Whitney G, that's the author, her writing is kind of like Winter Renshaw, where it's more based in like the corporate world and contemporary and kind of like a more serious book. And there's not a lot of like lightheartedness. Um, it's definitely not a comedy and it just, yeah, it's it's very much, this two weeks notice one that I really like is, is an enemies to lovers, but in like the workplace. And it's like, oh, I, it's just very, so much sexual tension. Maybe that's what intrigues me or like brings me in about like Winter Renshaw and Whitney G. There's just so much sexual tension that I'm like, ooh, I really like that. Uh, so yeah. I definitely recommend Two Weeks Notice by Whitney G to read that. And then, yeah, when September 8th comes out, I'm going to pick up this book. Um, so there is going to be, uh, I know everyone has heard of Pucking Around by Emily Rath. Because I think there was kind of a controversy with Emily Rath. I don't know. I didn't look into it. I didn't care. Something about book talk and the hockey world and something happened I don't know I again don't really care but she is coming out with a second one called Pucking Wild I don't know if it's to has to do with Pucking Around like it says it's the second book of it but I don't know if it's like the same characters or if it's like uh someone else that's in that world you know what I'm saying like um I kind of want to pick up the the first one but I I don't know. Did I see something that maybe it was a reverse harem? I don't know. I don't know very much about the book, but maybe I should look into it. Uh, another one that is coming out, I don't know when it said that it was coming out, uh, but it's by Kate Canterbury, and she's the one that wrote In a Jam, and I loved that book. Love, 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 love. So she uh, is coming out with one called Shucked. I don't know what it's about, but I'm really excited because I really liked her writing. It was very fun, friendly, but also was pretty spicy. But it wasn't, it wasn't like um, with their everyday conversations or everyday like interactions. It wasn't like, oh, they're always thinking about toast. They're always thinking about this, you know. Also, for new readers, toast means sex. Um, you know, the lingo. But yeah, it wasn't like that. It was like very much, there was still a storyline. There were still the characters. You loved them as that. And then there was the spice. And you were like, oh my gosh, okay. Like, I was surprised about that. Uh, so definitely love her writing. And then Penelope Ward, I love her. She is coming out with another one and it's called I Could Never. So anything that she writes, I usually pick it up. So there's a little bit of book news, a little bit of updates. I didn't have a lot of the dates on here, I just realized, which I should have looked those up. But I made sure to put the one by Whitney G because I've been really looking forward to that. So I do now, let's talk about what my mom and sisters are reading because we usually keep like pretty like tight communication on what each other is reading because I just I want to know and so but the past week I just haven't heard anything like book related and so I reached out and was like what are you guys reading like tell me like I've got to know what you're reading and my sister she's like Ugh, I haven't been able to read for a little while but I read like the first paragraph of Divine Rivals, but I just have so many other things, which I'm like, I completely understand. She's a mother of four and her kids are doing sports. They're doing after school activities, like school just started and like all these things. So I'm like, I completely understand. Like, let me know when you start reading a book. And, but yeah, she wants to read the Divine Rivals. And so, that one is on her little list uh, to be read. And I'm like, great. I love that. 
let me know when you want to talk about it and then you can kind of listen to my podcast episode because she is very she's very good about listening to uh, the episodes but yeah a lot of times she's like oh I I can't listen to all of it because I do want to read these books and so that's kind of what spurned the little I'm gonna do like the segmented like hey this is when the spoilers happen for her <laughs> because yeah a lot of times she's like ah I want to but I have to go back and listen to it after I read it and it takes me a while. So anyways, that's kind of how that went. So she wants to read The Divine Rivals, which I, I highly recommend. Um, it's a very good young adult, um, not like any spice, so that it's perfect. My mom, um, she always resorts back to something about like the Scottish Highlands and like the Highlanders. And so she sent me that she is reading Flames of Winter by Brie Wolf. And there is four books in this series, it looks like, and it is about like the Scottish Highlands in like 1804, kind of that era. She very, very much likes that. And she was like, yeah, I just kind of picked it up. Like, it, it looked interesting. Like, we'll see. Um, but she also wants to pick up Divine Rivals. So she's like, yeah, it was just really easy to pick this up and then I'll read whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm always interested in what you want to read, Mom. So <laughs> let me know. And then I talked to uh, my sister-in-law, Emily, and I was like, girl, I know you read like constantly, like what, what are you reading? She just finished Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Ooh, is that right? Okay, it's confirmed, uh, Emily Henry. <laughs> so that one is super cute. I really like that, but that one a lot of people didn't like. And I haven't really looked into why people didn't like it. Maybe it was like the type of characters or maybe like the relationship between the male, like the main male and female characters. I don't know. I really liked it. She said that she liked it. She is going to be starting on the Cruel Prince series, which I think I have read the first book of that one, but I honestly don't remember it. So I'm going to wait until she kind of goes through it and tells me about it because I don't know unless someone can convince me to read it again I honestly don't remember what it's about maybe I just need to read the first book again um okay so now now to this segment where it's book updates that I have read from like my TBR list that we've kind of talked about in previous episodes and then about the book that freaking shook me so the one that I'm I'm trying to read so badly is the Jassad Error by Sarah Hashim. And I've heard great things about it. It's kind of one that has snuck into the book talk realm. And I want to like it. I really do. I think I'm maybe 40% through, maybe 50, but it's it's difficult, y'all. And I'm trying, I've tried to pinpoint it of why it is so difficult to read, but it's just like the places and the names are so confusing. Like the world is so confusing. Like it's very much um, like, I'm trying to put it into words, but there's not enough explanation on if like a name is a place or a person or a thing. And they're just such big names, like intricate names for each of these things that I'm like, okay, so is that a person or is that like a title or is that a place? Like I get so confused and so like, and, and I think I'm at the point where I'm just frustrated where I'm like, why am I not getting into this? Like I've tried, like I've tried to just stick to it and be like, okay, I'm pretty sure that one is like a title in like royalty, but then it, it says something else. And I'm like, wait, no, maybe that's a place. I'm telling y'all. I have been so confused this whole book. It really is just, it's a lot. And I like the storyline. I like the characters. I like what's going on. It's just those details that I'm like, I am so confused, so confused. And I don't know, I need to look, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't kind of like a glossary or like a just list of like, hey, maybe it had a map I don't think there was even a map 
I need to look further into it. But it just, it was so much that I'm like, okay, I got to take a break and read some other books before I try and like get back into this because I just could not, I couldn't. And I haven't had a book like that maybe ever. Like this is, this is a lot. <laughs> like there's been books that have like confused me and I get kind of lost in, but this one, it just really like, I don't know why I'm just not getting it. <laughs> so that one is going to be on like the back burner where if I don't have a book currently, like I'll go back and try and read some more and then maybe get into it. Like I'm just, I'm going to keep trying. I'm definitely, I'm going to keep trying because I have heard such great things about it that I'm definitely going to keep trying. So the next one actually surprised me and came out of nowhere so remember like the Rowan, like the Lachlan series that I keep talking about. Uh, so my mom read them. She loved them. I got through like half of the last book and then I was just bored and I was like, eh, whatever. So that those same authors, it's L, Ellie or L. Madison and Robin Mall. Uh, they, they co-author it together. They have another series that my mom started reading and I think it was by the second book, she was like, oh my gosh, you have to start reading this. And I was like, oh my, okay, mom, like you haven't said that in a really long time. Like I have to read this. So I did. And they were really quick books. There's five books in the series and they're basically based off of like, um, like princesses. So there was like the Beauty and the Beast retelling, Cinderella retelling, Mermaid, like the Little Mermaid retelling. And like they, it was very, like, it was a very interesting retelling because there's like the evil stepmother and she's really evil. Like they do really, really well with this stepmom of how evil she is, like very sadistic, very like torture, very, she's a lot. And so it's just like, oh, like she is evil, like actually evil. And so that was very intriguing. Um, and so, yeah, the first one is like Beauty and the Beast and the retelling of that. I definitely loved it. And like the daughters are like daughters. I put that in quotation because uh, the stepmom or like evil lady, she stole these girls. And so, yeah, the Beauty and the Beast, um, loved that. That one went on to a second book and then introduced like the next sister which was like a Cinderella retelling, which that one, they all were super good. They're very closed romances, like closed door, uh, not a lot of spice, but enough tension that you're like, okay, this is good enough. Um, but yeah, pretty closed door romances. And so then there was, yeah, Beauty and the Beast. And that one went on to, so that was the third book. That one went on to a fourth book which introduced the fifth book and then the fifth book was like uh the little mermaid and kind of how that came to be and then they finally like defeated the mother and it was really great so that one I think it was the third book that I was like I don't know if I want to read this series anymore but my mom was like no please please just skim like just read it and so I was like okay so I did and I'm glad that I did because it was it was a really great book like all these books were really great very very cool like world building you felt like you were there with the characters you rooted for them like you were there trying to figure out how to defeat the mom or, or like the stepmother and it was just I loved it very very good writing so I probably will pick up anything that they put out because it was just very well done. Uh, the next one is, I think I've talked about it in the last episode, is The Stars Are Dying by Chloe Penaranda. Penaranda? Yeah. There's no second book yet, but the first book was really, really good. Like, really, really good. I highly recommend it. Like, it kind of got slow at the very end, which was surprising, um, kind of like the three fourths of the way through, I was like, what is happening? This kind of got weird. And then it, it gets back on track and I'm still kind of confused about a certain part of it, but I'm hoping the second book 
kind of helps with that, if that makes sense. So that one is very good. I highly recommend. Uh, the one, literally, it just came out, I think, like last week. And I was like, I have to read this. It was by Winter Renshaw. Anything by her, I immediately pick up because, yes, I just love her writing. And I love her in general because, listen to this. So the one that came out was Hate Mail. And that was the one that I talked about where it was like an arranged marriage where the parents basically, like, they were best friends. And then they signed this contract that their kids are going to get married when they're 24. And they the two kids like write letters to each other and it, it's just like hate mail and then um they get married and then that's when they like fall in love is like after they get married and I loved it I read it with in a day because I I just loved it so much I loved the concept I loved the characters I loved like just everything about it sure like I understood I mean I I don't personally understand the characters, but I understood their feelings that they just felt like they had no control over like their life basically and how they deal with it. And it just, I loved it. I highly recommend doing that one. And what's so good is that I didn't know that it was a part of a series, which I think the next book that's coming out is just like one of their friends. Um, and what's great is that there's going to be three books in the series and the second one comes out next month I think in like a couple weeks and then the third one comes out in October which I'm like that is literally how people should do it like if you're going to have a series that's coming out make sure that they're only a couple months apart you know like write as much as you can and release books within a month out of each other that's how you do it like that makes it so great for the reader because then you don't have to read very long like I'm so glad I read fourth wing when I did because the next one's coming out in November so I don't have to wait very long yes I maybe should have waited until like October to read it which I think a lot of people are that's when because they know that they're gonna like it because like their friends liked it or something they're waiting till right before to read it, which I think is pretty smart. But also I can't wait like that. Like I just get, I have too much anxiety, too much anticipation that I'm like, no, I got to know what you're talking about. Like I need to know. So I read it. Um, so yeah, Winter Renshaw definitely did that very smart. Um, the next one I just barely finished. Actually, I finished it a couple of days ago. And I am going to pick up the second book, which I think is out, I want to say. Um, but it's called The Song of the Marked. And it is a fantasy. Um, there's like some gods in it. And just like a whole different world than what we are in. So it was actually very, very good. It took a minute to get into it. But once I was really into like the characters and what was happening, very good. It was by S.M. Gaither. And I don't think I've read anything by them before. Um, but I really liked, I really liked the storytelling. I really liked the characters. It made sense. And there were some twists in it. And it was very good romance, very good spice. It was... Oh, I would say it was like a, a 2.5 spice out of five where there were like some scenes, but it wasn't like so over detailed that I'm like, oh, my God. like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that one was really good. The second book of that one is called Twist of the Blade. So I think I'm going to start on that today. Um, and then we come to the book that literally I read within a day because I just had to get it over with. And I even like looked over at husband yesterday and I was like, I am so depressed. <laughs> like, I know that sounds so severe, but literally like I was just like staring off in the distance thinking about, I was like halfway through this book and he comes in um, from one of his things and he was like, are you okay? And I'm like, I have to tell you about this book. Like I, I can't function. It was just too much for me. And I'm okay. So the book is called Haunting Adeline. And if you have read this book, you know what I'm talking about. I didn't realize that this book was what it was about. And maybe I should look at trigger warnings. Maybe like if you have not read this book and want to, please look at the trigger warnings 
please look at what the contents are in this book because I had no idea no idea and I I usually don't have triggers and I wasn't really triggered by it I just felt sick like because it is so real that's what's happening in this book that I just I felt sick about it and it like and if you're going to read this maybe turn the podcast off before I start talking about it because I don't I don't want to do an episode about this book because it was so heavy for me it was too much so this is the point I'm gonna let you know if you want to read this book definitely turn the podcast off now um if you can mark that you listen to it so I get the little like markers and downloads that would be awesome but yeah if you're not going to like or listen or read to this book then we can continue. Um, But it's basically about this girl that starts to get stalked, like has a stalker and he's just a lot. And then we see his point of view and he's actually this like cyber hacker that is bringing down um, the ring of like child trafficking and women trafficked and like all these sadistic things like these famous and uh government officials are doing these rituals with these kids and so he's trying to like infiltrate it and like uh take them down and he does there's like a lot of murder in this um but he becomes obsessed with this girl he like sees her and he becomes obsessed and he starts stalking her and then um little by little like they are it's like kind of BDSM ish. Like he, he basically like SAs her, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole time. And it's like, he's forcing his love on her until she's, he's like, no, we're going to get married. You can't be with anyone else. He like murders guys that she's like kissed. And it just is so not happy. It's not a happy book. It's not a feel good book. It's not like, because that is happening like children are getting trafficked and it that's very real and that's what like was so depressing that I'm like okay you want to root for this guy because he is helping like he is getting rid of these bad people but then he's going and treating this girl like this that I'm like you're kind of a bad guy too like why are you treating her like this like she there was just a part where I was telling the husband that was so disturbing that I'm like, I am questioning if I should even finish this book. And I, I honestly shouldn't have finished the book because it was too much. It really was. And so it just, once I was done with it, I literally like, I had to take a walk around the neighborhood. Like I had to refresh. I had to just like take a shower and just kind of like reset myself because it just did not it just I I don't I'm speechless like it did not was not a I can't recommend this book like I can't I'm okay so maybe that's the thing I'm not here to yuck someone's yum which we've talked about it and maybe you really like dark romances because this is an extremely dark romance and amazing if you are really like that kind of world and if you if that's your yum I'm not I'm not here to judge you I'm not here to say don't read this which I kind of said like I can't recommend it but this is just based on my likings of books and what I read is that I don't think that I can recommend this book unless I know that you like really dark romances So that's what I'll say. It's not that I don't want to recommend this book, but I just have to know what kind of books that you like. So let's let's kind of start this over. Is if you like dark romances, dark, dark, dark romances, then this is the book for you. You might really like it. And I love that for you. If you find that this is like your book and kind of your genre, love that. I love, 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 love that for you. But for me, just remember I have a faint heart (laughs) we discovered this Um, I was having a heart attack during this book absolute heart attack (laughs) so let's uh yeah that is kind of my thoughts on that book so I just wanted to give you a warning please read the trigger warnings please read 
reviews about this book. If you have any sort of triggers like that, please, uh, please make sure that you are aware of what is going on in this book. Um, so yeah, that, uh, kind of just updates on the books that I've read updates on what the mom and the mom, my mom and sisters are reading some little book news, just kind of like a, you know, general, like, Hey, updating you on all these different things. Um, Updates on my life. I know I know a couple people have asked, like, oh, we want to know more about your life. Um nothing new, really. I it's been what three months since we've moved to Arizona now. And I love it so much. It is so freaking hot. It's constantly it's over a hundred every single day, which that's what we can count on. But there have been like little monsoon storms, which is still a hundred degrees when the rain comes through, but it's so beautiful. There's so much to do here and I love it so much. I love it so much here. And, but the thing I say, and, and then, but, uh, so there have been like a lot of opportunities that might be coming up for the husband that we might be moving again at the end of the year. I don't want to. That's the thing. I don't want to. When we lived in North Carolina, I wanted to move. I wanted to get out of there. So we're like, Arizona, perfect. But now like that we're here, I love Arizona. I love where we live. I love the places around here. I love that it's dry. I love. I just love all of it. The heat, sure, not so great. Um, but I love it. And so, but there is a possibility that we could move to Indiana next year. So I know nothing about Indiana, um, but that's a possibility. There's also a possibility that we might move back to Utah. So that's where we were before North Carolina, which we have a townhouse there. It would be an easy move. Um, but I, I don't really like Utah anymore. I think I've, I've grown out of Utah. And so for that to be a possibility I'm like "Mm -hmm." I mean I could I can make it work I have a lot of friends there which I would love to see all the time again so it would it would be a good move it's just Utah that I'm like I just I I don't know it's not for me anymore so that is a possibility also a possibility that we could move to the northwest which is my ideal place is like Washington Oregon that's my ideal place So we'll see what happens in a year, Uh, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. Um, The dogs are good. I think little Walker, Walker is our oldest. He just, he just turned eight years old and he is an Australian shepherd. I think he ate or drank something bad and it was just a nightmare. Just, I understand what, (laughs) what parents go through now when their kid is like throwing up and just yeah everywhere this was basically it too where I'm like oh my gosh little guy like I mean he's not little but like how can I help you like your little tummy uh so yeah they are doing good I love the dogs um and yeah we've just been living our best life like it's it's been a really good move so just wanted to give you a little update on that I think the husband is going to be on the podcast soon I just got to figure out what episode I want him to be on and to talk about so I was going to have him up uh, be on this one or do an episode if I were to do an episode on haunting Adeline uh, I would have had him on there as well um but yeah, it just, I didn't, I didn't want to do an episode about it. So anyways, I am grateful for all of you. Please rate and review this podcast. It helps me out so much. So wherever you listen, if you could rate and review and, you know, kind of boost the little podcast up. I've been all over the social medias. Definitely follow me on there. And yeah, it's just, it's been a wild ride. So anyways, grateful for you guys and I will talk to you next week.